Global leaders and the world media for many years have turned their naked eye towards the rampant rise of Hindu phobia. Hindus were seen as a community that rarely shapes the world dynamics. This neglect can be linked to the Hindu community's historical absence as a unified political force or voting bloc. However, in the past 10 years, the dynamics have shifted significantly. The Hindu diaspora has recognized the strength that comes from unity, becoming more cohesive and influential in advocating for their rights and addressing challenges they face. With the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who has elevated the visibility of Hindus on the global stage, the community now enjoys a stronger position. In contemporary times, Hindus are seen as a force that can influence big electoral scenarios across the world, making the politicians across the globe approach them with much respect and gratitude. Beat elections in the United States, the United Kingdom, Mauritius, no political bloc, be it conservative or liberal, can turn their eyes away from the residing Hindu community. United States Over the past few years, American Hindus have significantly increased their influence both politically and socially. Indo-Americans are now seen as a key voting bloc that could impact the 2024 presidential elections. Traditionally aligned with the Democratic Party, many Indo-Americans have begun to shift their support toward the Republican Party since Donald Trump took office as he fostered stronger ties with India and its Prime Minister Narendra Modi. While more than half of Indo-American voters identify as Democrats, that is 55%, compared to 26% who identify as Republicans, a 2024 AAPI data voter survey indicates a decline in those leaning Democratic since 2020. This shift has prompted both major political parties in the United States to actively seek the support of Indo-Americans. Both Democrats and Republicans are competing for the Indo-American vote, recognizing that maintaining close ties with Delhi is a significant asset. According to estimates from the U.S. Census Bureau, from 2018 to 2019, California is home to approximately 8,16,536 Indo-American voters. Texas follows up with 4,83,245, while New Jersey has around 3,84,988. New York has 3,72,908 and Illinois has approximately 2,42,823 Indo-American voters out of which mostly are Hindus. These numbers plays a crucial role in deciding the fate of the presidential candidates and therefore constant efforts could be witnessed from both the sides to grab the trust of Hindus. Donald Trump, the Republican presidential candidate, promised Indo-Americans that he would strengthen relations with India if elected. He has often expressed admirations for Hindus and India, stating, I am a big fan of Hindus and a big fan of India. Following his election, US-India relations expanded dramatically, with Trump developing a strong friendship with Modi that led to increased cooperation in defense, technology and trade. On October 31st, Trump condemned the rising attacks on Hindus worldwide, including in Bangladesh and the US, becoming one of the few US leaders to speak out against the persecution of Hindus in Bangladesh. These actions signal the growing recognition of the Hindu diaspora as a significant force in the global arena. The Democrats have also worked to secure their share of Indo-American votes. During a 2020 Democratic National Convention speech, while running for Vice President, Kamala Harris mentioned a chitti, which means aunt in Hindi, to connect with the Indo-American community. President Joe Biden has made efforts to maintain close ties with India, hosting Prime Minister Modi for a notable state dinner in June 2023. Vice President Harris supported this by hosting a luncheon for Modi with Secretary of State Antony Blinken during his visit. She has actively engaged with Indian American voters by organizing cultural events, meeting with Indian American business leaders and reaching out in their native languages through phone banking and canvassing. Additionally, 
every year she invites indo-americans to her home for her annual diwali party aiming to secure the indo-american vote so moreover the wide acceptance of hindu-american vivek ramaswamy to displace the power that the hindu diaspora holds in american politics even though hindus in america comprises roughly one percent of the total population vivek ramaswamy coming from the hindu community gave a good fight and finished fourth in iowa coming in well behind trump florida governor ron DeSantis and former UN ambassador Nikki Haley. Vivek Ramaswamy was able to fetch 8% of the GOP causes vote which is remarkable for an individual coming from a micro minority community. With growing influence of Hindus in America, the quest to fetch Hindu Americans has led to Diwali gaining significant recognition across the United States. Particularly in states like Pennsylvania, Texas, New Jersey and New York, these states have officially declared Diwali as a public holiday. United Kingdom The Hindu diaspora in the United Kingdom, like Hindu Americans, have successfully managed to gain significant influence in the United Kingdom, so much so that the world saw a prime minister of the country coming from the community. Rishi Sunak, coming from the Conservative Party, was throned as the prime minister of the United Kingdom in 2022. Preeti Patel, too, served as the Home Secretary from 2019 to 2022. The world saw 10 Downing Street, London being decorated and Diyas being lit up on the occasion of Diwali. Not only did the Hindu conservative leader celebrate Diwali in the 10 Downing Street, but the current Prime Minister of UK from the Labour Party, Keir Starmer, did the same this year. Keir Starmer took to Twitter to share his Diwali wishes, posting a photo of himself holding a plate of Diyas in front of his residence at 10 Downing Street, which was beautifully decorated with marigold flowers and rangoli. Hindus in UK in recent years have become increasingly vocal in asserting their political rights. With around 1 million Hindus in Britain, they represent a significant electoral force and both the Labour Party and the Conservatives take their shots to have a hold upon their votes. In June this year, 29 Hindu organizations united to release the Hindu Manifesto UK 2024 which highlights key demands including the recognition of anti-Hindu hate as a religious hate crime. This shows the confidence the Hindu community in the UK has gained and is now influential enough to share socio-political discourse. This shows the confidence the Hindu community in the UK has gained and is now influential enough to shape the socio-political discourse. Political leaders from conservative and labor parties often engage themselves with the Hindu community, visiting temples and expressing commitments to address issues such as Hindu phobia and others. Mauritius Hindu diaspora in Mauritius is highly influential with 48% of the total population. Hinduism is the largest religion in the state of Mauritius with Pravin Jagannath serving the Prime Minister. United Arab Emirates Hindus in UAE constitute around 6.6% to 15% of the total population of the nation. These are tentative figures of course. Exact percentage is not known since the last survey was done in 2010. The Hindu community in UAE has grown their influence multiple folds. This year, the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, inaugurated Abu Dhabi's first Hindu temple, the largest in the United Arab Emirates. Leaders of UAE have been extending their wishes in Hindu festivals, which shows the influence the community holds. This year, too, UAE leaders have extended heartfelt wishes to Diwali, including President Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Hindus across the world have steadily expanded their influence, evolving into a powerful global community that now plays a significant role in shaping international dynamics and contributing to the world order. In many countries, Hindu communities have made their presence felt not only through their contributions to economic growth, but also in political, cultural and social spheres.